Greetings and welcome to another Alice tutorial. Today we're going to look at using the as seen by attribute as well as functions and a number of methods to get the skateboarder to move to perform some simple tricks, in particular jumping over a ramp. So let's start. First thing we want to do is get the skateboarder to move up to the ramp. So you will notice firstly that the skateboarder has the skateboard as the vehicle, so wherever the skateboard moves, the skateboarder will move as well. So we can just quickly check on that. So skate guy, properties, notice that we've set the vehicle for the skateboarder to the skateboard. Okay, so back to the skateboard methods. We want to firstly turn the skateboard to face the jump. And then we're going to move the skateboard forward put in default value here first, go over to our functions and we want to move it forward until it's it's up to the start of the ramp. So we're going to use the distance in front of method there. So distance in front of jump. Now that will measure the distance to the very front of the jump. If I just use distance 2 that would measure the distance to the middle of the ramp which is not what we're after. So let's just quickly check that by playing. And we can see, yep, we've got exactly what we're after. Moving to the front of the ramp. Now we might just change the, the timing there. Duration, 0.1 of a second. So the initial turn to face doesn't take quite so long. Okay, and we'll just put in a comment there. So that we're moving to the front of the ramp. Okay, next part, we want to get the skateboarder to move up the ramp. So again, we put a comment here, indicate what we're about to do. Now, we could well break this up into separate methods, but we'll keep it all in one method for now. Uh, now, what we want to do is we want to move the skateboard up to the ramp, or up the ramp. Now, while we're doing this, we want to actually angle the, the skateboard correctly. So the first thing we're going to do is do some calculations. We're going to create a new variable called angle. And we're going to use a little bit of simple trigonometry here to calculate the angle that we need to set the, the skateboard to. Set, value, we'll set it to a default value first. And the angle in radians will be the inverse tangent of the height of the ramp divided by the depth of the ramp. So let's go up to the world here first. We'll use the arctan function, put that into there, and then we need to go back to the jump, and we want, as I said, the height of the jump, place that there, divided by, and again we'll just put a default value in there, divided by the depth of the jump. So that'll give us the angle that we need to move at. When the angle that we need to move the skateboard. So next we go back to the skateboard and we're going to have a do together command here and we're going to go over to our methods, turn that backward and we'll put in a default amount of revolutions first but we'll, we'll change that in a moment. So whilst we're at the same time as turning the skateboard backwards, we want to move the skateboard forward. So move skateboard forward and again we'll put in a default amount. So let's have a look at what we need to do here. So here for the turn backwards we want to put in our angle. But remember the angle is in is in radians, we need to actually convert that into a percentage or a fraction of the revolution which we want to, we want there. So to do that we need to divide that number by 2 pi which is approximately 6.28. And the skateboard, the distance we want to move forward is roughly the depth of the jump. So again we go over to here, go to functions and jump step. Let's just change the timing a little bit. So we want to have want this first one to occur fairly quickly. So duration of 0.1 second and we'll do this one over 
half a second. So let's see how that works out. Okay, so you can see as it's moving up the ramp, the skateboard is tilting in the right direction as well. So we're ready for takeoff. Now notice here when I did the movement, the move forward, I did it moving forward with respect to the direction of the skateboard, which actually works out quite well in this case. But we'll see in a moment if I want to then get the skateboard to move forward once it's off the ramp. I don't want to do it relative to the skateboard, I want to do it relative to the ground or what relative to another stationary point. So let's put in our print command here. And jump off the ramp. There's my comment. And at this point we want it to, to fly through the air. So I'm going to do a do together. And I want it to go at the same time as it's going forward. I want it to go up and then down. So I need to do an order. So I'm going to go skateboard uh, method and move up or we'll put 0.7 meters so not a huge distance up and then so we'll do that over let's keep it a duration of one second and then I will get it to move down and We'll just put in default value of 1 for now, and let's change that to the skateboard's distance above ground. And at the same time that I'm doing that, I want to get the skateboard to move forward, and we'll get it to move forward a total of 5 metres. So let's see how that works. Okay, not quite what we're after. So what we want to do is we want to have this move forward. Rather than moving forward with respect to the direction of the skateboard, we want it to move forward with the direction of a stationary point. So we could do the ground, or indeed we could do something like the ramp. So if I do as seen by the jump. Let's see what happens there. Ah, so you see it's actually going backwards there. So why is that the case? Well, if you look at the ramp here, its forward direction is actually pointing in the opposite direction to the way we want to move the skateboard, the skateboarder. So here, we change that to backward. Press play again. And we can see we've got, well, at least we're on the right track. So it's moving up and it's moving down. Let's just do a quick check to see what its distance above the ground is here when we're finished all this. So print, just put in default there, tie jump. And here we want to print out the skateboard's distance above the ground. Just to check that we're back at the zero point. And we're not quite there, but we're pretty close. So we'll need to do a little bit of tweaking with that, but we'll continue all that in another tutorial.